Hello, this is Henry the Computer Guy and you are most welcome to our third video about web designing using Microsoft Expression Web 4. Actually, in our previous video, we created a website in Microsoft Expression Web 4, but specifically using a template. So in this video, we are going to be creating a website, uh, but specifically using an empty site. Therefore, we shall be able to create the pages and thereafter linking them using the hyperlink feature. So I've already created a document that is going to be guiding us through the entire process of creating this website. Let's open it and see what it's saying. So we are having a question here which is saying that COVID-19 awareness website in Uganda. This is what we are going to be following because uh, we don't want to make the video too long. We, will, we are just going to be copying and pasting onto the pages that we are going to be creating. And uh, page one is actually saying that uh, it is going to be the index page or the home page, which will have uh, the full form of COVID-19, the description, uh, the background, and a table of some records about COVID-19 in Uganda. Then page two is going to be the spread page, which will talk about uh, how COVID-19 is spread and the symptoms. This is the information we shall be using. Then page three is uh, actually the prevention page, which will have the preventive measures of COVID-19. Then uh, we shall be comparing COVID-19 with some other two diseases, for example, cold or algaes, then flu, and uh, the organizations to be contacted in, case someone is uh, suspected to be having COVID-19. Then lastly, we shall be having page four, which is going to be the gallery, the gallery page. So having known what we exactly need, let's begin creating our website from scratch. So now let me minimize this and look for our software. But before we open our software, we have to create a folder where our website is going to be saved. For example, let me come and identify any free space onto my desktop and right click. So I'm going to right click and click on new, then click on folder. So I'll save my folder as COVID. So I'm going to save it as COVID. That means that we are going to be saving everything into this folder that we are going to be creating onto our website. Now we can be able to uh, start our software. So let me come down here onto our start. We come and search for expression web. So it is already indicated here. We are going to click on it and open it. So we give it some time to load as uh, we wait for it. Finally, our software has opened so we can close this and remain with it when it is empty just like that so now we are going to be creating a website but uh, using an empty site so what we have we have an option here that says site it is the one that we are going to be selecting and when you select it it will give you other options for example we are going to be selecting the option that says a new site I'll click on it and when you click on new site it is going to give you a dialog box that has two options for example the general and the template but by default the general option will be selected and it also has three options one page site empty site and import site wizard but remember at the beginning we said that we are going to be using an empty site so I'll select the empty site down here we have to browse where our site has to be saved remember we created a folder onto our desktop so we are going to be selecting that folder so i'll come and click on browse then i'll come and select my desktop from up here then i'll come and select my folder which is covid so i'll come and click open then it is going to show me the path that I'm saving onto the desktop but under the folder called COVID. So I'll come and click OK. So finally we have an empty uh, 
website so now the next thing we are going to do is to put in the pages that we are going to be using and when we want to create our pages we shall come to the file option here for file then we click on new and select the html remember we are going to be using the html which is the hypertext markup language so i will come and select html and having selected html uh, this is the first page that i'm having i will save it right away for example i'm going to click on save and this is going to be my home page it's going to be my home page so down here i can change the title to home just like that after that i can click ok and i save so that is the first page that we are having remember we are going to be having four pages we can begin with the first page so first of all at the beginning here what do i want to put i want to put a picture first of all at the beginning before I write anything. So I'll come and say insert. I look for a picture. Or if I don't choose this option, I can come to this option that says insert picture from file. So you can use any of the two options that you want. So I'll click on it. Then I have some uh, images onto my, desk my desktop in the folder called pics about COVID-19. So I will come onto my desktop and select it. So I will come and select pics. I will open. So I will look for any picture I want to use into my website. So I can use this one. Let me select it. So it is going to ask me alternate text. I can say pick. Then I can say the description as the logo. Just like that. I can come and say okay. Just like that. So my image has been brought to my website. So I can make it smaller. I can put it in the middle or in the center. Just like that. I can press enter, go to the next line. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Again, I can just make it like that. Then I can go down to the next paragraph so i need to type something let me go to my document i look at it then i can copy this one covid19 awareness website in uganda so i can come and copy come back to my software then i paste it there by pressing ctrl v onto my keyboard just like that so we have it as this i can make it something else for example i can uh, come and change the font family I can come and change it to a heading, anything that I feel I want. I can come and change the size to either large, extra large, smaller, or extra large, anything that you feel you want. So having done that, we need to create a, a menu down here now. For example, let me put it to the left again. I'll come and say, I'll begin with my home, for example. I'll begin with my home. I can leave some space by pressing the tab key onto the keyboard twice. Uh, let's say we are going to be having another page which is going to be about spread. Again, I can leave uh, two tabs. Uh, another one is going to be prevention. Uh, I can uh, put another one tab. Then another one is going to be the gallery. So I can put them in the middle all highlighting them then I can put them in the center just like that so this is going to be acting as our our navigation so you can increase the size also if you feel you want so for example extra large just like that I can even change the color it is actually here the font color by coming to this option then i'll choose the color that i feel i want let me make them bold just like that so now remember we had our document uh, that it's saying that on the home page or index page we are going to be having this information so i'm going to copy this information i put it onto my home page copy 
control C or I right click and click on copy come back to the software then I can come down here I paste control V just like that I can put it to the left coronavirus I can make it a heading make it bold I can change the color font family it depends on exactly what you feel you want to use just like that press enter let me add other items that we are having we have other description about COVID-19 copy then we can come and paste here control V just like that then I can come back again here if I wanted to put an image here I can put it uh, for example by coming to insert image then I look for the image I want to put onto that first page I can come and uh, put something over this uh, kind of let me put something of this kind can put this one as insert so I can give it as pick pick two I will say okay now it is very big I can make it smaller right click come to picture properties come to the appearance you can give it something like 300 let's see how it will look like 300 then you say okay so you can even put it in the center you can enlarge it if you feel you want that is going to be COVID-19 so we continue to the description press enter you also paste some other information you want uh, for example we wanted to put this description copy so we are just copying and pasting just because we don't want to make the video long but for you you can as well be able to type control V just like that then we come and pick this one again which is going to be the backup round or origin of COVID-19 control C for copying or you right click and click on the word copy come back to your then you paste then you come back copy the description just like that copy then come back to your software and control v for pasting so that is what we have on the first page then uh, another thing that we are actually having is uh, the let's go back to our we have another heading which is a table of some uh, records right click and copy then come back to your software then you control v for pasting and we need to draw a table so for a table we are going to come onto this option that says table how many columns do we do we want and how many rows do we want for example i want two columns and six six what six rows so i will click on that then the table will be displayed any change you want to put onto the table you can double click on it by the way you can give it the borders to be visible one you can even put the color as red so you can come and say okay then you can come and give the table all borders for all to be visible just like that so we can now put in the details for example let me make this a capital so we have details we have details we can put it in the center then make this one a little bit smaller just pushing it up a little bit here then we come and add uh, values values we put them in the center also just like that so we can now paste our information there we have a control c control v we come back control c we copy the value then we come back to our software we control v so then after that we want to put it in the center we put it in the center just like that so i might uh, pause the video and uh, paste all the information to make the video short so you can make it smaller if you feel you want just like that so now this is our page one and i think we are done we can even change the colors of this to any color for example you can highlight it and come 
to the font color and change it. So this is our home page. We need to create another page for spread, prevention and gallery. So what we are going to do is to come to, by the way, we can even save just like that. Then we can come under, click on file, new, then HTML. We are going to save this page as spread. We call it as spread. Then we change the title again to spread. Then we can come and click OK. After that, we can save it just like that. So we are going to be calling this one the spread page. Let's write it in capital. Spread page spread page we can come and uh, put it in the center we can even make it bold we can even increase uh, its size just large extra large then we can give it a color for example this is uh, going to be red then we can apply so we can add some information here so what are we going to add by the way, we shall put a menu here. So I'm going to leave uh, some space here. We shall put a menu there. Let me just put something of that kind. I will come down here and start writing the information that we need. So we come to what we call page two and we need to put this content. So I'm going to copy this. Let me just copy the whole of it at once. So we are going to highlight the whole of it at once the interest of time copy then we come and paste it here control v for pasting this is the information that we have so we can as well make uh, different changes the way we feel we want for example i have these uh can select them and uh, let me put something of that kind i want them to be uh, bullets I'll highlight these ones also I make them to be bullets I'll so I'll come and select this information also uh, from uh, coughing then I'll come and add uh, the bullets so that is the information we have on uh, also our our spread page just like that we click save let's click uh, and, uh, on file and create another page new then we come to html this is going to be saved as uh, the prevention prevention page because i'll come and change the title to prevention i'll come and click ok then i'll come and save those are now three pages we can come and write something here prevent prevention page i can make it bold for example i'll highlight it i make it bold i'll put it in the middle i'll uh, put it to extra large i'll even change the color to red I'll change the font color to red just like that so down here we can leave some space come down enter just there we add some information from our document so we are going to be having the preventive measures so I'll command actually let me remove these uh, bullets from here I'll put them from the other side so I'm going to copy all of them. Actually, let's copy everything. Uh, let's remove. Uh, copy from here up to here. Right click and copy. Come back to our software. And we paste it there. Control V. So we can as well put this one in form. Uh, let's say for example, enter. Uh, we put something else from uh, our work we come and compare 
copy control C we come and paste it here control V then we put those uh, allergies copy let's copy the whole of it uh, from here up to here copy then come and paste to our just like that then we come and uh, copy the organizations to be contacted in case someone is having COVID-19 copy then we take it to our then control V that is what we have for we can make this one in form of bullets also selecting just like that so we have uh, so far added everything that we wanted so now we can even try to put some images there for example i can come to the prevention i look for a pic i'll come and say insert picture three insert picture i'll look for a pic and insert it there just like that let's say call it pic three so i can make it somehow bigger just like that so this is our page prevention page save let's come back to spread page we also put some uh, images here if we feel we want to can come and click enter then i'll come and insert a picture so now can put any pic just because uh, for purposes of showing people let me just put this one we can say pick four then I can say okay just like that I can just leave it here oh I put it in the center then I make it a little bit smaller just like that so these are the pages that we had let's add another page which is going to be the gallery page come to file new then html we call this one the gallery gallery page we put this one uh, we make it bold we put it in the center we give it extra large we make it a red color then we come down here let me put down here press enter to go down then we can include the images remember for us to make our images organized we can just put them in form of a table let me put that inside a table uh, let me put one image two image three and four or before just like that one two three four just like that so that is what we are having so we are going to be dragging images and putting them here or inserting them just from this option you can come and click on to this one no let me pick this i'll select just okay i make it smaller make it smaller i'll make this one also smaller just because i want to leave a space I'll come and click to the next or in the next so I'll make it somehow bigger then I'll come and choose an image again just like that okay so I'll make it smaller to fit the other one I'll make it smaller just like that make it smaller to fit then I will come and make this one like that. Then I will add another image here. Let me make it a bit smaller. So I will add another image here. Come and insert. So I will come and put this. Okay. Make it smaller. Make it smaller. Just like that. So we can leave some other space here. So we put uh, just like that. 
so actually we're not going to put many of them let me make this one smaller make this smaller just like that yeah So we have this one as this, we come and skip one, we add another one here. So we come and insert another image, you can put this just for purposes of showing people that we have images or how we can insert images just like that. Then we come down here, we insert another one. We have jumped to one where we can even put uh, some description okay make it smaller just like this one yeah can even add another one here insert i'll click this okay so we make it smaller goes to this one just like that so that is how we can add some images let me add all of them so i might i might pause the video so we have this one make it smaller just close like that we can come to this insert another image just like that I think it is the same no not insert it okay let me leave it just for purposes of showing people we can make it smaller can add another image uh, just like that okay can make it uh, picture properties we can come to the appearance we make it 150 so we can now make it somehow big depending on how we see others just like that we are remaining with a uh, some three okay so we come to this one come to this and add another image uh, let's put this okay make it smaller make it smaller just like that we add another one we are soon finishing add these people okay we make it smaller just like that just like that we add the last image then we come and pick any stay home okay 150 to make it smaller such that we can see the parameters so we can now enlarge it depending on the images available we can even add some description if uh, at all after that you can click save so remember we are saving it as a gallery but with small letter gallery then we can change the title to gallery just like that then click save so i think our pages are now saved so we have the home page we have the spread page we have the prevention page then we have the uh, gallery page let's first go back to the home page we want uh uh, to link these other pages to uh, to the other pages that we have created remember we have a, a navigation here we can even give it a background color if you feel you want or you can click on it and come to you tag properties come to the style come to the style where you see the style we can come to the three dots here we come and put the background color there for example background 
then we can come and choose a color here either color of this kind just like that so that is our our menu so we are now going to highlight the word spread then come and click on hyperlink or we can come to insert and say hyper hyperlink so any that you feel you want to use so i can click on hyperlink i'll come and link it to my page which is uh, the spread just like that then i will come and select uh, prevention i link it to also my prevention page then i'll come and select gallery i'll hyperlink it to another one which is the same as ga gallery so we are making links to all those pages so we can click ctrl s for saving that is what we have for for now so we can now look at our links and see whether they are not uh, or they are accurate to see whether they are accurate for example i can click here i come back to the splitting of the code i swear my links are already we have a auto class style just like that spread then prevention then we have a gallery just like that so we can come and close the the code so that is it we are, that we are having for now this is our website we can even copy this uh, navigation and put it onto the other pages remember we also need navigation onto them so we can copy and come to spread again we can come down up here we paste it here just like that then we come and click on the word save we come to the prevention again we click down here ctrl v for pasting then we click on save we come to our gallery up here we put ctrl v for pasting it there so that means that if we are on gallery we don't need the gallery page here and uh, if at all we are on the prevention page we don't need the prevention page here or link here and if at all we are on the spread we don't need the spread here just like that we can save all so now let's go to our folder onto the desktop and we see whether we can try to open this into our our browser so if at all you want to open it from this side you can as well open it from this side you can even change the for example the page size for example come to view come to page size then you can choose any that you feel you want so now if you wanted to open your your, your website from uh, this side you come and select the the home page then come sorry come come to file and say preview in browser so you pick the browser that you're going to be using you can say internet explorer chrome what and others so you pick any that you feel you want to use and it will load just like that so this is our website that we have created this is the home page we are on so we can click on spread we can click on prevention we can click on gallery so that is exactly what we have for today and uh, this is specifically how you can create a website uh, using an empty site it's been henry the computer guy uh, i thank you for watching bye bye i sign out